Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a lift of one of my all-time favorite mixed media and other scrapbooking arts artists, um, Janet Fritz, otherwise known as Galaxy Girl, is uh, just amazing. She's amazing with cut files. She's amazing with mixed media. She's just great with scrapbook design. She's she's just an overall really, really wonderful person. And I congratulate her on her subby milestone. And I'm so happy to be joining in the celebration. So the layout that I have picked is one that I've had my eye on for a while, mainly because of the turtle. And silly me, I thought, well, number one, I thought I had a turtle cut file. No such thing anywhere in my collection. I also thought I had the stencil that I used to make this um, wall hanging. And I, I know I did have it. I think maybe one of the younger kids borrowed it a few years back and I didn't need to use it since then. So I haven't looked for it and I doubt that anyone knows where it is. But I did this by dragging a, a product called um, Ferro Paste by Viva Decor uh, across uh, through the stencil. And then I did a whole bunch of other stenciling to get the effects in the water and I made my water bubbles out of sequins and so on and so forth. I played around with this wall hanging. So what I did this time, <laughs> since I didn't have the stencil and I didn't and I discovered that about 25 minutes ago, I decided that I would just scan this and I'd print it. So I did on a letter sized eight and a half by 11 size piece of paper. And uh, when I put it on my uh, uh, printer, I turned it around because I wanted my turtle to be facing the same way that Janet's turtle was facing. And then I printed it and then I fussy cut it out. And then I used the rest of what was there as pattern paper and I backed my journaling with it. And I may find a use for that sunshine somewhere, and I may die cut some um, coral or leaves or something out of this. I'm not going to let any of this go to waste. So that goes over in another pile. And since I didn't have that stencil, but I wanted to do some mixed media, I'm going to use this wave stencil from Scrapping Reflections. And I'm just going to do a little bit of water kind of under where the turtle may go. The turtle may go there, so probably a couple rows there. And I've got a blend of distress oxides. I'm going to kind of just blend it around like this. This is Salty Ocean, which just seemed kind of appropriate. And I'm going to offset the stencil with the other colors so that I get a little bit of um shadowing or I don't know what you would call it necessarily. I'll do this so that that white part gets this darker color. The, the rim is actually going to show on the other end. And I'm going to do some just lightly right there. That was Emerald Lagoon. And this next one is Peacock Feathers. And I'm kind of I'm 
not gonna do a whole lot of that on there. So I should have some, okay, so I have some, some waves that kind of look like they're um, out of focus, <laughs> which, which is, is maybe an, an intended effect and maybe not. So I'm gonna put the turtle right about there, but first I'm gonna put him on some foam. Let me get him off of there. Okay. And I'll kind of do that. Not sure where the journaling is going to go or the title, but the photos I'm using, uh, this is James coming up out of the water after um, diving with turtles uh, in Puerto Rico. I'm gonna Do that like that, and this, actually I prefer this one like that, and there. I think I'm gonna do that. It kinda looks a little like a cut file leaving that blue edge around it. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to do stamp some bubbles, and I'm going to stamp them out of Salty Ocean, I think. There's a one bubble there, and then I'll do some larger ones, or smaller ones, and I'll do one here, and maybe another one here, and maybe that's all I'll do in that size. That is a Tim Holtz stamp from a mixed media stamp and stencil set, and the other stamps in that set look like that. Um, I'm just gonna put it there because I have to clean it. And then I'm using, the other stamps I'm using are from um, Art by Marlene, Studio Light. It's this whole set of really, really amazing um, just, Mixed media stamps is, is the only way I know how to describe them. They're just perfect for things like this. I go there and there and here. I'll go there and there. And then I've got another stamp from that same stamp set that has little tiny bubbles. And I'm gonna do them in this direction. They'll be there. And maybe I'll do another one. Right there. Okay. And I do wanna do some down here. There we go. Okay, just I'll let them go off the page. Not anything really uh, very sophisticated here. 
I'm going to put the title here kind of in the same place that Janet put hers. And then I will put my journaling She put hers kind of in strips over here. I wish I had, okay, there's a spot. I could put it right there and it interferes with those um, circles, but that's okay because I had two in that one size. And this may be end up being one of the fastest layouts I've ever done and I love it. I really love it. Um, the yay is what James is saying with his thumbs up that he's found the turtles. And these photos look like they were taken at night, but that's just my filter that I used on them. I'm having trouble peeling that off. But let me do that, kind of right like that. There we go. And of course, it's not going to be complete without a few sequins. And I'm going to use Fern Gully because it has all the colors in the photo. And... In the... the, the colors of the water. I'm going to put them some in right in the middle of these large circles. And they'll be different colors. I'm going to put them a little bit off center so it's not it doesn't look like an eye in other words. Um, okay, and a dark purple one right here. There we go. And a dark purple one right there. And a green here. And a teal, shiny teal right there. Whoops. It had a little bit of the punchinella kind of sticking out there. Okay. And I'm going to do some more. I just kind of want to get the, the directions here, 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 and up into there, and maybe one right there. Okay, and that's going to be it. I don't want to overdo it because Janet's was so perfectly simple and effective. And I am known to take a concept, you know, maybe a little too far, <laughs> but I don't want to do that for this page. Okay, and I'm really not, there's no rhyme or reason to the colors I'm picking or the sizes. I figure um, air bubbles kind of come in all sizes and they don't necessarily follow a um, an artistic design plan. Okay, that is a sign that not only do I need to clean out my glue um, my glue bottle spout. 
but I also need to clean the glue off of my um, tweezers. Okay, so there. Now you know I'm gonna go look for a a flare, and I have um, some custom flare that Adam made up just for me that are turtles because I turtles are kind of my spirit animal. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use this one that has all the little colors on its back. That's a cute one. Or if I want to use the one that's kind of swimming along. And I may have, I may use two of the swimming along ones. There we go. So it looks like babies following a mama. And let's see, where are my... Have this one maybe following like this, and this one maybe here or here. So the mama is also following a baby. Let's have a little fun with that. Okay, so I'm done. I absolutely <laughs> love this page. And those of you who know me know exactly why. It's, um, there's water, there's goofy pictures of my son, there's um, stamping that wasn't done perfectly, and three turtles. You know, what, what more could you want out of a page? Janet, congratulations on your subby milestone, and I, um, I wish you many, many more subscribers, and if you all have somehow missed Galaxy Girl uh, out there, by all means, go check her out. She's amazing. So, thank you for watching. Bye.